Morning, everybody. Jason, Hollis Vaughn. Raining again. Headed over to Speed Shop. Piddle around a little while. I hope it don't start this raining every other day like it did last summer. We got a lot we got to get done, but while it's raining, we'll at least go get something done in the speed shop. Alright, so I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. We've been having a little problems with the toter. See, none of the gauges are working. The only gauge is working is the air. Oh. Gauges went out on us and the air conditioner quit working. We studied on it, studied on it, checked grounds, and of course we ain't no truck mechanic for sure, but didn't find anything, so we contacted a guy up here, not just too far from Brad's place, that's got a machine that plug up computer deal, ECM, whatever all that stuff is, and uh, we're going to carry it up there and leave it with him and let him see if he can't figure out what it is. And kind of a good time, we need to defrost the freezer. Brad did that yesterday evening, got the, uh, we cleaned the refrigerator out, defrosted the freezer because we had to cut it off because it won't be plugged up for a few days. So, got all that done. We're going to get it up there and let him see if he can't figure out what's wrong with it. I can't stand not having gauges, need oil pressure and temperature, and a fuel gauge for sure. Put fuel in it the other day because we didn't have a clue how much was in it. I looked down in the tank, had a little bit, so put the fuel in it before we went racing, and uh, we got to get this fixed, though. Uh, long trip and show needs some air conditioning too. So maybe we can get all that fixed. It's always just, uh, I really like my toter. It's just, you know, it's, pretty, it's an 07 model, so it's going to be some little nitpicky stuff uh, every once in a while, but little nitpicky stuff on this thing get expensive. So we're going to keep her up, keep rolling. Trying to look at this bad boy. Steak and cheese. All right, y'all. We are in the cockpit of the street stop. Open. Go ahead and open it. We are trying to work the brake. Brake. All right. Trying to get fluid to all these calipers. All right, open it up. Takes a little while to bleed these brakes the first time. Down. Close. All right, open it. All right. We won't do. You got fluid. Yeah. All right, close it out. Let's go to the front now. Takes a little while to get these get fluid all the way. I won't do no pumping until we get fluid to all four calipers. All right, I'm gonna screw to the front now. This is our brake adjuster, if y'all ain't never seen it. Screw it in and it screws brakes to the front. Screw it the other way, it screws more brakes to the rear. If you race cars loose, start screwing your brakes towards the front. If it's tight, screw them to the rear. Ready? Open it. Getting a little bit of a pedal now. Alright. We got fluid to all four corners of the brakes. I'm screwing my bias deal back to the back now. Now we're gonna bleed to the rear. We're gonna see if they'll pump up now. Still gonna take a little while, but all right. Get anything? All right, you close back up? Yep. It's going to take a minute. Because I am going all the way to the bottom with every stroke. I may have to pump them hard here in just a second. There it comes. All right, you ought to get shot at this time. That did some good then. All right, we are in the last stages of the brake bleeding. We're getting close. All right, I'm ready. All right, down. Any air? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Ready? Yep. 
Alright. Alright, got the brakes spread pretty good. We're going to let them sit just a little while and bleed this clutch. This brand transmission has got a bleeder down on there. So we got to bleed the clutch and then uh, we'll probably come back and bleed them brakes one more time. Got to do a little adjusting in here to get just a little more comfortable. We put fluid in there. Okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Open her up. All right. We're getting close on the clutch. Got to come down a little bit and check the fluid. I don't want to run out where we got to start over again. Alright, we got the clutch done. It's tight. It's tight. And we're going to go over the brakes one more time. They're just a little spongy. Tell me when you're ready. Ready. Okay. I don't know why they're so spongy. Alright, I'm ready. Now. Alright, y'all, we are fabricating again. Got Can't find no parts, so we gotta make them. Hey, right, y'all, it has finally quit raining for a little while, but I don't think it's over with. Got the toter up there this morning and they called and said they did find the problem with the uh, gauge panel and all. They got to order a part for that. They got that figured out and they're still, they was checking the air conditioner or something. Said it didn't have a leak, it hadn't got power to it or something's funny going on there. They're trying to figure that out. So I ought to be getting the toter back pretty soon. Piddled with a late model just a little bit. Got the brakes and the clutch bled on the new GRT. Street stock getting closer with it. I'm about ready to carry it to a racetrack. But anyway, I'm about to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.